Let's talk a little bit about fundamentals of business concepts. If you take a look at this mind master, by the way, you can go out and create your own mind map and we'll do that later on in the week. But let's take a look at the fundamental business concepts. I'm not sure which one you chose to present to the class, but if you go back and take a look at the Ed Puzzle, you'll see that we've got planning. Now what goes on in the planning stage? What's going on? Objectives, help you meet your aims, writing a business plan, strategy. Finance, where we've got financial statements, cash flow, balance sheet, profit and loss, and more importantly, raising money here. Okay. The top section here, this is how accounting relates to finance. This is what the accounting department does, and that's how there is a direct interrelationship with finance. And then the finance people, they know how much money they are working with because they're raising the money, and they're keeping track of the budgets. Okay, move down here, we've got marketing, marketing principles, target market, market segmentation. We can easily identify Coca-Cola in here, perhaps Nike, even potato chips. Why are there so many different types of potato chips on the market? And how do the marketing people keep their brand in front of their target market. A lot of money spent in marketing. Another fundamental business concept, managing people. How do you motivate people? How do you keep people motivated to stay with your company and move the company forward? There's a few theories over here. We're not going to get too much into these theories, but we'll spend a few minutes on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I think you'll find yourself in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Find out a little bit about what makes you tick. If we move over to the other side over here, uh, the business environment, uh, economics. My entrepreneurship class, we've been spending uh, quite a bit of time on microeconomics, how to make a company work within the economy. They're spending a great deal of time right here. Okay, How to make a company work within a specific economy, their market economy. Who are the stakeholders? And of course, communications is very important to entrepreneurship and introduction to business and technology. The nonverbal communication, gestures, proximity, uh, even clothing. Your co clothing tells a story. Okay? So let's take a look at this diagram, this mind master, and let's build some interrelationships. How? are the different concepts interrelated.